and for study of electrical machine trainer. As you can see, this is the aluminium channel base. This is a screwless panel. In this, there are this panel is divided into four different sections: mains input, DOL starter, time measurement, and motor connection. With this panel, we will perform experiments on a half HP three phase AC induction motor. With this panel, first of all, we will give the three phase main supply. Then we will make the connection from R to R, Y to Y, and line to B. By making this connection, we are giving the input from the wind TAC zero one to wind DC zero two. This is a DOL starter. With this DOL starter. If we connect the motor here, then directly the motor will run. Now, if you want to set the timer for which to run the motor, then we have to make the motor connections to here, and then we have to switch on set the time here in seconds, and we have to push the start button. The motor will run for a specific time. Now, I will in the next video I will explain you. how i will run this experiment and it is working first of all we have uh, switched on the three phase mcb now as you can see on the dol starter the dol starter it is marked as off to switch on the dol starter you have to push the green button as you can see with the marker led the marked as starter on the it gl glows when the dol starter is on as you can see with the motor the motor is running at full 1450 rpm now we will perform the second experiment switch off the switch off the trainer first then then change the motor connections from the output of dual starter to the panel marked as win dash mc06 for the timer to work now set the timer to 5 seconds again switch on the trainer as you can see the trainer motor is working for a definite per time after 5 second the motor will automatically trip now we will show you again one cut as you can see when the contactor led is on timer is on and the motor is on so these the contactor is the main thing which makes the contact for the three phase mcb and it runs the motor the timer on led switches off automatically when the set timer is re reached so this is the complete video